Juan Luis. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It would be great if you could give us a short introduction of yourself. Tell us who you are, what you are doing. Okay, I'm Juan Luis Dumont, Valde Avellano. Is my mother's name? No, it gets complicated. Okay, <laughs> we'll use both. Uh, I'm from Chile, South America, and I'm an English teacher. I also do some uh, methodology for an old university, guiding thesis for qualitative studies. And I have a third thing going on now, since last year, which is movie making. I started my own production thing going. It's not a company or anything yet, it's just a name, with a lot of investment from my own pocket. But it's been four years, almost five, that I have been doing it. It's professionally since last year. And I'm making a movie called Voyage to Space M, which is what I'm doing here. I'm here actually in... 20 minutes, I will be starting a, an open session to talk about benefits of making your life an art movie. And it's based, the movie is an autobiographic movie, it's based on what happened to me 10 years ago, which is I fell off a window, broke my spine, and I was diagnosed paraplegic. And having a really normal life, <clears throat> suddenly you're faced with this whole new challenge. And I just, I don't know, something inside of me just told me to keep going. And I and forget about everything, so just did it. Yeah. And after a while, I just realized that I had to kind of, uh, kind of, do something like filmed about it. Okay. And I had this thing since I was a kid that I really loved movies, and somewhere in my head was this thing about being a movie director. So here you are. So here <laughs> I am. So right now we are at the Global Citizen Conference, Conference of Melton Foundation. 2013 Fund Melton Foundation. You are here as a TT. I'm here as a TT. A what task, is TT? <laughs> task team member. It should be TTM or something. So <laughs> it's TT. What is your role here besides? <laughs> well, my the role. Movie thing. There are JFs and SFs in the in the Melton Foundation. That's junior fellows. Those are the guys that are pre-graduate students, and they they're f just well, starting fresh, and they need the support and guidance from somebody else and those are senior fellows that can help them but also there are TTs like me that we have specifically des uh, designated some of the juniors or senior fellows and uh, we were some sort of a friendly guide and we have to know how they are getting along in the university not missing out on classes or maybe giving more importance to the foundation than to their academic life, or, but also to have a good uh, equilibrium, good mixture of both. And that's basically my, my role, I mean, uh, that, uh, regarding the, the other guys. But so, as a TT, I also do some stuff, for example, uh, coaching, and uh, I we have meetings where we always organize what we can do with, with the Melbourne Foundation about junior fellows or senior fellows. So what was your experience so far from this? Now it's almost going on for a week, the conference here. What, yeah. what is your experience? What is your major takeaway so far? Well, coming to India, I mean, this has been just mind-blowing. Your mind first blow. time? First time in India, and it's just mind-blowing. I mean, I was, in, I was in Europe before I came here for a few days. I was in London for eight days. Then I was in Switzerland for six days. And then I took a direct flight, Switzerland, London, Delhi. And I went on my own to Agra for three days. And that was just, that was almost a killer. <laughs> Why a killer? A killer because it's a, it's a whole different world out there. And the wheelchairs definitely not, not uh, Agra friendly. Uh, the, there's just too many stairs, too many bumps, too many things on the What road. do you mean not Agra friendly or Agra uh, is not wheelchair friendly? <laughs> yeah, Agra is not wheelchair friendly really, yeah. Yeah, misconception. So it was kind of a shock because I couldn't run away. Plus I had a flat wheel <laughs> when I got off the plane because of the pressure must have been. <laughs> this, this wheel, the left wheel just exploded. So I was riding there for three days with a, with a flat wheel. We managed to get it fixed with the driver that I had. Yeah. And last lasted for three hours. Not very good patch they put on. Mm. 
So how was your experience, you know, being in a wheelchair okay. and, 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 and being at one of the most, most uh, touristy spots here in India? I mean, well, I mean, that's what I was saying. It's, it, was, it was so crazy because being, being just out there in the streets, I wasn't with a tour or anything like guided or protected from the outer environment. And there were many, many people on the streets, the needy people coming towards me. And there was this, this sort of paradox thing that happened to me. The Indian people are very kind and they all, they all wanted to help me. So the driver wanted to help me. Uh, some of them do it for, because they're really nice and the other are asking for the rupees. But the, they, they, they really wanted to help me. So they were carrying me around everywhere. Some of them tipped me over, crashed my feet against stuff. But the thing is, when I was, I, I was being really helped around. I didn't really want to. I'm not used to that. I'm very independent. In Chile, I have an independent life. I live by myself. I have my own thing going. And I really didn't want the help. And I felt that I was kind of really crippled. And then, all these people from the street, they all wanted something from me. Okay. So I was right in between this paradox of that I'm feeling really bad because I'm being so helped that I'm kind of just leaving me alone. And then these guys are coming and just Looking buying a plastic Taj Mahal or giving me some money. Or, but I was surrounded by 10 or 20, 12, 15 people at a moment outside the, the Taj Mahal, for example. Mm -hmm. And that was crazy because you, I couldn't run away. The flat wheel, I just I had to stay there and deal with them. No, in India you really can't escape, literally in yeah. your case, yeah. Yeah, so in this case I deal with them and I just started sort of talking and most of them sp spoke uh, the local language, which I, I can't remember now in Agra, but... Uh, now quite should be Hindi, actually. Hindi? Okay. So they were just going on in Hindi. I was trying to tell them, no, thank you, or please don't invade my space, yeah. like, get on me and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a, that was, that was a... a sort of very strong experience not a bad experience just very strong sure. and then i went back to the hotel the first day i had to rest i didn't feel well uh in my mind I'm not in my health. took me another a whole entire new day the next day going out there seeing agra ford and sikandra and yeah just going on the akbar tomb and and uh, i had to rest again at the hotel and the third day I started feeling better, a lot better. Sort of set an epiphany in my head. It's just, okay, this is what's going on here. Just deal with it. So I started feeling better. Then I took my Delhi Bangalore flight. So here I am now. This is kind of a different city now. It's a, it's, it's a bit, uh, I don't know, it's cleaner, it has more buildings. It's more like a Occidental kind of. So it's a western city, but, uh, but I mean, uh, I would, it was a good experience to go there, just throw myself into the cold water and then come in here and I have enjoyed these last days, the dances, the food, so it was just a moment of adapt. Yeah, adapting. and so from the conference, what are your takeaways so far? From the, sorry, from the... From the conference here? From the conference? What's the question? What were your takeaways from oh. so far? I mean, uh, well, I've, I I was impressed by the springboard sessions. I like the, the stories and I like the the way people have uh, built their lives. And I've always looked up to to people who are entrepreneurs, basically. And I I only got involved with the word entrepreneur or coaching or just doing doing really something from the heart and really believing in yourself for others and going out there and just doing stuff. And I've only been doing that for about maybe five, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. and that was after I had my accident. I had plenty of time to think, sitting down. I think mm -hmm. my life got really better. Okay. So for me, the wheelchair thing only improved my life. And then when I see all the stories here, for example, the springboard or other talks we've had and workshops and uh, I, I really enjoyed it I have I have my own story and it's, uh, it's it has many curves and, yeah. and 
forests and ice walls. So you're pretty pretty new as a TT, as I understood. You yes. just started. Yes, I started so, last uh, year. What are your expectations? As a TT, as, part, as being as part a of TT, the Nobel yeah. Foundation? Well, you know, my expectations were pretty clear from the beginning when I uh, when I wanted to be a part of the Nobel Foundation. And that is the, uh, to be, just to be global. Global, I like the word global. And being a global citizen, I lived in England since uh, when I was a kid and then I, I worked outside when I was when I was done with my high school, I lived abroad, I went to Alaska and Hawaii and I was in Mexico and the Caribbean. And then, you know, I've seen many places. So I thought, okay, and I have, and I, I have had many weird experiences in different places. So nice experiences, weird experiences, strange, common. So, so in my country, I just started feeling that I was a bit of an alien sometimes because I'm very open-minded and you don't get very open-minded people mm. in Chile. Uh, there are many, but uh, not that many. So what is a global citizen for you? And this would also be my last question. Okay, well, being a global citizen, uh, citizen means uh, to have certain philosophy of life. And that means that you, you will listen first before you say something. It means that you, you, can, you, you have to be very observative. Okay. Listen and and then the, one of the main things is take action. Do things. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Juan Luis, Thank I got you. it now. <laughs>